Now I'm going to open this um, Hexagon House data set. This is about an 8 gigabyte file. Um, and this is with the P series. I'm just going to jump to one of those scan positions. You can see this is uh, collected with the P series with HDR imagery. And obviously, I can view that data set in full 3D as well. Um, now, I think you've seen this before. Oh, I'll show you the living box in a second, but I'm just going to drag and drop this IFC file directly into the viewer. So that's now going to load the IFC file into the job. And then once it's in, uh, we probably will get a little warning asking about whether it's in the coordinate um, in the coordinate system. So the model is not aligned to the current project coordinates. So I'm just going to say use the model coordinates. And what you'll find in this particular instance is that the model is somewhere below the data set because there's an offset in uh, the Z value. So I'm just going to undo that move. I'm going to drag that up. Now what you'll see if I zoom in is actually that's not too far off being aligned almost perfectly. Now this is purely for visualization purposes, so I'm not going to be too accurate with it. But there you go, that's your model, and we've aligned the uh, the model to the, the point cloud. And I'm just going to escape out of the um, move tools or the, the uh, editing tools for the 3D model. Now what we can do is we can also we can add in multiple files. So now I'm just going to add in this Hexman House extension. So that's probably a much smaller file. I'm just going to say use model coordinates and let's have a look and see where that file is so that's down there i'm just going to drag that up into place now you can see so this from a previous point of view you know, this is quite nice because we can drag in a theoretical model and we can put it in the right, right location that's where we assume the current uh, extension is and maybe we want to move that you know maybe if we, i'm going to hold the shift key and i could move this along the side of the building for example um, as i said before if you're going to plan view this allows you to manipulate it quite nicely. If I'm in, if I'm in the move mode, I can, I can say, right, I'm going to align, and that's going to be my extension now. There you go. And go back into the side view, and I'm going to say, that's the extension. What's the impact on the parking? Can we create any additional space on site? You know, where, what, is there any rights of lights issues, for example? Um, but I just like the ability to be able to pull in multiple, um, you know, multiple. Uh, different models into the same location. Now what you should be aware of, and I think I showed this in one of the other examples, if you manually create your clip box, it will also reflect not only the cut on the point cloud, but as you can see I'm moving down now, but it will also allow you to cut into the 3D model. So if I accept that clip, you can see now we can see inside the IFC model. And you can say, for example, even the detail on the stairwells, for example, in this in this particular case. So that's a really, really nice uh, way to visualize your IFC files directly alongside your point cloud. You know, maybe this is for planning purposes. Um, again, if you wanted to, I don't think there's any snapshots in this example. There aren't any snapshots, but you could add those and save that. Uh, and there's no geotags because this was done with the P-series, which uh, doesn't support the asset creation out in the field. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's like, dragging in multiple IFC files into the same job and obviously showing how we can manipulate uh, the limit box to be able to hide certain things as well. Um, so I think that's a really, really nice tool and I'm sure lots and lots of people will make use of that functionality.